we've got everything figured out. We're back on live. Okay, so I wanted to give my take on uh, trying to commentate here. So we're just I just hopped into a game. Uh, it was a game that's got uh, Don't Match Me in it. Oh, Nocturne coming in with the ult. He goes on the fiddlesticks, and the Fear Tether goes off, but he flashes away, so nothing happened in there. Twitch gets out safely with the invis as well. All on top lane, a little bit of harass going down from Lissandra onto Jarvan. Now... I don't see much uh, happening there because Jarvan it looks like he's playing pretty safe, so don't think Lissandra's going to do too much. Lots of pings going down, and Lissandra just uses her claw and gets away there. And it looks like they're going to be trying to set up for Dragon, possibly. And then, like I was saying, this game does have Don't Mash Me in. Cassidy coming in again uh, and backs out. Taking the spear there, taking a little bit of harass back. Now, when I first jumped into this game, uh, I did watch uh, Kassanen take down Don't Match Me pretty quickly. And Twitch comes in, and Kassanen just says, nope, and he ults out of there and just rip walks away. Freeze comes down, Jarvan coming in, and nothing going on there as well. So a lot of harass, but no kills. And when we take a look, let's see, I haven't even taken a look at the CS yet. Uh, Graves up on CS by quite a bit, actually, on Twitch. And even though uh, Mashmi has got two deaths on Nidalee, he's able to keep that farm up and has uh, more farm than Cassidy. Not much, though, so kill's definitely worth more there. And the Aras just keeps coming down from Cassidy on the, that don't match me nidalee on the bottom they're pushing in bot turret pretty hard I don't know how much twitch is going to be able to do unless he gets some help from fiddlesticks that sentence misses by a lot actually that wasn't even close so fiddlesticks waiting in the wings here just for the possibility that they try and dive but they just back out match me still trying to farm up also trying to stay away from that Cassidy. Some more harass coming down from Jarvan on Lissandra, who's actually coming out on top of those trades by a lot. Ult comes down. Oh man, fights everywhere. And Lissandra gets out with and dies. Jarvan take took a lot there. He got ulted by Lissandra under the tower, but just a little bit too tanky. Cassidy coming up, seeing if he can get a pick to finish off this Jarvan, but I think Jarvan's just going to try and go for the uh, suicide here, so we'll see if he gets it, which he does. Meanwhile, bot tower going down, they're going to definitely get that. I don't see Nocturne taking him on 1v3, so I think uh, bot tower uh, goes down, and all the, so they uh, get a kill top, and they get a tower, and now they're going to be trying to go for dragon, so... Red team is uh, pushing all their adva advantages uh, right off the bat here, so this is very good play. We do have Cassidy and Nocturne coming down to the dragon. They know something's up, but too late, and they just back away. I don't see... Oh, but Cassidy gets feared by Fiddlesticks. They all jump on him real quick. He riff walks away. Can he get away? He throws down the AoE slow. He slows all of them. Twitch flashes over. Nocturne in there, puts on the fear tether, and the lantern gets Cassidy out there. With the shield, he won't even die to the Twitch Poison. I know, no, don't mash me on Nidalee, he's looking for a spear. And he's not going to be able to get it. Cassidy and Riff rocks out of there with barely any health. Great play by Thresh to save his teammate there. Also, good kiting by Cassidy. That was really good. In the meantime, people are backing. Let's see what Twitch uh, can do here. And Twitch goes back. And... Looks he's working on uh, three Dorn's Blades. All right, so he's got three three Dorn's Blades, and then he's working on Blade of the Rune King there. So he's going to be trying to uh, invis up on people and assassinate them very quickly. Blue buff up. I do think that Nocturne will be giving that to Cassidy, so we'll see here. Yep, and Cassidy is going over there. So Cassidy is going to have blue buff once again, which is... Uh, amazing for Cassidy. Lee Sin down here. Oh, and he gets the steal. The knight, the great smite steal, and any war jumps out of there to safety. So in and out for Lee Sin. Terrific play. We do have Fiddlesticks waiting in the bushes here, seeing if he can get a pick on Lissandra. 
If he... Oh, and the ult's coming in. He's going to fear as well. Jarvan slides in as well. Lee Sin comes in as and, pick, and they pick up that kill. That was uh, very unfortunate for Lissandra. I, there was nothing she could have done. She was CC'd the entire time. So, unfortunately for Rux, not having uh, a great game on that top Lissandra. And because of that, I think they're going to be able to get that top tower as well. In the mid meantime, they're trying to push uh, onto Don't Mash Me, trying to get this tower down. Spear barely misses. Good guy minion taking that spear, no problem. Cassidy taking some harass. Don't Mash Me gets death sentence. Cassidy's going to riff walk in here shortly. The box goes down. Twitch comes in as well from the side. Cassidy gets the kill on Don't Mash Me. And once again, Thresh with his lantern plays are amazing. The fear comes off, the fear comes off, Lee Sin comes in, and that is a very dead Cassidy. In the meantime, Graves has been pushing and farm, uh, free farming this bot lane. The whole entire time all that was happening, realizes that he is in a very terrible situation and gets out of there. And I think that he will be able to get out of there no problem. And yes, he does. Fiddlesticks checks the bush, but nothing is there. Little does he know. So, Fiddlesticks and Lee Sin backing. I imagine that Lee Sin's going to be uh, picking up another item here. You see Fiddlesticks picking up a Vision Ward. And Lee Sin getting a Giant's Belt. So, Lee Sin is going to be getting even more tankier. Which will help him engage a little bit more and get in there in the face of people. We do see a Hydra. I just noticed a Hydra being built for Jarvan. So, he's going to be pushing top very fast. And if need be, he'll be able to push that lane very fast and then join the fight very 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 uh, damage oriented Jarvan which when it's working well can go uh, can go greatly we do see Fiddlesticks Fiddlesticks fear comes off Nocturne's all comes in to don't mash me and that is a kill right away Fiddlesticks trying to run away fear tether going down but uh, Fiddlesticks able to uh, skedaddle his way out of that fear tether meanwhile we got four mid now Kasten Waiting in the background here. He looks like he's going to be going top tower to help without with that Jarvan. Meantime, mid tower does go down to the Graves, Thresh, and Nocturne. Lee Sin picking up that farm. They all uh, going out and going back over to their lanes. We do see Jarvan going down to the Lissandra Cassadin. So good of Cassadin to give Lissandra some help. That'll help Lissandra get back into this game, hopefully. Twitch backs. See if he's able to pick up anything. I don't think so. I think he was just backing because he knew he was pushing up uh, really far there. You see Lee Sin taking care of some of his jungle creeps. Picking up that last wolf. Graves, meantime, still farming that bot lane. Still getting farm. He still is about 20 plus CS above Twitch at all times. He's been keeping that pretty steady of that lead. So very good of him to keep up with the farm doesn't have the two kills that twitch does though so we'll see how big of a difference that makes we do see some pings down they did walk through a ward here Lee Sin and Fiddlesticks so they do know that they're in their jungle somewhere Fiddlesticks putting down a ward seeing if they can get that uh, ward in their jungle vision ward does go down but unfortunately there is no ward in that blue bush we have Nocturne roaming around. He's probably going to go pick up his red there. Make sure they don't get it as well. Some more harass going on to Don't Mash Me, which has been happening all game long. That uh, great Cassidy harass. Thresh and Cassidy coming around. They run right into Lee Sin. Cassidy throws out the death sentence, misses wide, gets kicked into the whole team. Box goes down, but I don't think it's going to help Thresh at all. Nice ult coming across the whole team from Graves. Cassidy and Riff walks in, but uh, immediately flies back out. Jarvanal comes down, gets both of them, but Graves flashes out. Good flash by Graves. Nocturne gets feared by the Fiddlesticks, and that is an entire team in his face. So that is a dead Fiddlesticks. Lissandra, in the meantime, had no part in that entire fight. And because of that, they're going to be getting a mid-tower for that. They do know Lissandra's there, though. She does get feared. Fear's still going on. Twitch comes in as well. Lee Sin comes in with the kick. Alt goes down, but Lissandra still goes down. She did pick up Fiddlesticks, though, due to that ult. So at least be not being totally worthless, she is able to get that kill. 
pushing that mid tower four of them still Kassadin does get some harass out but I don't think it's going to be able to do much Thresh comes out with the flay and they save the tower for now he dodges the poison that's good death sentence goes on the twitch I don't think much is going to happen though it's not like Kassadin can go into the whole team that would be very very detrimental Nocturne all comes in goes way deep into the whole team fear tether goes off on twitch and it does go off nidalee does go down jarvin and twitch low Kassadin goes off to the side and picks up the lead the weak lease in so in the end of that a two for two and they protected the turret and Kassadin is just getting more and more kills he's now five and one so i would like to say that that was a good fight for the blue team Twitch going back now. He has finished his Blade of the Rune King. He finished that a little bit ago. So we'll see what he builds into next. He did pick up a pickaxe, so he could either be going for a Last Whisper or uh, I see him going for a Last Whisper or an Infinity Edge. I would say Infinity Edge just because they uh, are not too tanky on the other team, except for Nocturne, who's getting that cloth armor, and Lissandra, who's got the Hourglass, but... In my personal opinion, I would probably go for the Infinity Edge. The damages. Okay, so Lee Sin handing off the blue to Nadali. That'll help him throw out even more of those spears. Twitch comes in, assassinates, but the ult goes right into his face. Both really low. Hourglass comes out, but Lee Sin comes in with the shield, and this is a very dead Lissandra. So, good pickup from Twitch. Gets the kill. Lee Sin with the assist coming in saving the rat and a successful submarine gank from twitch because of that now they're gonna try and push this dragon I feel that the blue team is just gonna try and push this mid tower so they're gonna give up the drag so they'll give up that global gold in hopes that they'll down this mid tower and uh, I hear a lot of talk that towers are always greater than drag because towers don't come back so they do get down that mid tower and this could lead into a very, very, very narrow team fight. Death Sentence goes out, but nothing happening there. Throws out the Lantern to get some vision. Now, he did throw out the Lantern to get vision, but now if the fight starts anytime soon, he won't have that to save any of his teammates or use it for a shield. So if they start a fight anytime sh soon here, it that could go against them. But it looks like everyone's going their own directions. People are backing. So no team fight and everything... Uh, goes back and calms down a little bit. Lee Sin goes back to the jungle to take care of some creeps. We do see a lot of wards on this drag side. Uh, more wards going down. Lee Sin backing. Now that we see here, we have Twin Shadows being built on Nidalee. I think that's just so she can help survive a little bit more and, and kite if need be. So we'll see there. Don't mash me though. Having a pretty rough game. He's beginning focused. Uh, a lot late in this game along with Rux he's not having that the greatest of games with Lissandra but he is coming back the burst is getting pretty uh, ridiculous there you saw is that uh, fight earlier with twitch in the bot lane when he got assassinated he did chunk twitch pretty hard so the burst from Lissandra is uh, spiking and uh, Cassidy continues to get bigger and bigger so as long as Cassidy keeps playing this way they should be in good shape and be able to stay in this game wards going down they know that they're there. Mo vision wards going down everywhere. They want to keep this vision. Red team wants to keep blue team's vision off of Baron. See if they either bait it or go for it. Cassadin does unfortunately walk into a trap, so he's not going to be able to hide from there. Spear barely out of range of Cassadin. I imagine this red buff will go to Twitch, which it does. So Twitch with red buff, they continue to push in this mid tower or mid lane, pushing in towards that mid inhibitor turret. But uh, they back away. Looks very. It looks a lot like Blue Team is not looking forward to uh, getting into a team fight right away here. I think they're looking for the right time to engage, to get a good engage, or perhaps pick someone off. Uh, a lot of pings going down on the Baron right now, and they might be going for it. Lissandra and Graves and Cassidy are both very far away from this. They do notice though that people are coming over. And with that Nocturne ult, Nocturne would be able to get in there very quickly. Nocturne ult goes down on Fiddlesticks. Cassidy comes into the fight as well. He slows. Slow goes down. But it's still just Cassidy and Fiddlesticks in the fight. Twitch on the on the wings there. He was ready for that fight to go 
Ghosties go out. Death Sentence misses wide again. Spear chunking Thresh. I believe that was close to max range Spear. And a Spear hits Kassadin, but not much going on there. Kassadin a little tankier, and that Spear was a little close on contact. Kassadin looks like he's going to be going top lane to get some of this farm. Graves gets the slow. He gets the Blade of the Rune King. Lantern comes out, and once again, Thresh with the Lantern saves. Well, because of that, though, they are going to get that mid tower, and the mid lane is now even again. Lissandra, though, has been pushing this top or bot turret very hard, taking a few tower shots, wastes the claw, but uh, fortunately for him, nobody is coming after him right now, right away, so he will be able to put some more pressure onto this tower. Is the chase going down? The expunge does go off on Nocturne. He is very low but he will be able to get out of there. A lot of pings going down on Baron again. I do think that they are going to go for it this time because Lissandra is on bot lane. So they are going to go for it. They're going to try and burn this as fast as they can. Blade of the Rune King will help with that on Twitch. Lee Sin tanking it. There are a lot of pings going down. They, the, they are still trying to burn it down. They're still trying to burn it down. Thresh on the wing. They do know he's there. I do expect a death sentence to come out. Jarvan slides over the wall. A lot of damage going down on the Thresh. Lissandra is here. Alt goes down on a Jarvan. A lot of bursts. Graves and Jarvan going to be able to... Graves killing Jarvan, or Lissandra, rather. But because of that, they did distract long enough for them to get Baron. And now, Don't Mash Me is on a run trying to get through all the team. He does get Graves in the middle of that. Fear Tether goes off on the Dolly. He's going to go down, but nice pickup on Graves. Meanwhile... Nocturne trying to get out of there. Lissandra trying to run. She doesn't have the claw, I think. Nope, it's still down for two seconds. Nocturne all goes down, so no vision. Claw comes out. Good escape. Oh, nope. Twitch gets a shot off on her, and the poison does kill her. Nocturne fear tether onto Twitch. He does get feared. He does get slowed by Cassidy, who rift walks into the fight. But now he's got not He rift walks again. Both very weak. Can Nocturne finish off the Twitch? He does. But Nocturne is going to go down. Kassadin does finish off the Lee Sin, but Fiddlesticks and that Drain are being very powerful. And in the end, it is Fiddlesticks, the last man standing with that very powerful Drain that was uh, going on to Kassadin that entire time with that fight. So in the end, it was a 3 for 2, or 3 for 3 if you count uh, Don't Mash Me, who just spawned with Nidalee. So once again, a pretty even trade, except for the fact that Red Team got, uh, or Blue Team rather, or red team, I mean, got Baron. So, Fiddlestick still has his Baron, so that'll be good, especially uh, the health regen and makes him a little bit tankier if he was to ult into the team with that regen, plus his drain. Don't match me coming down here, trying to get that blue buff. Nice spear right into between the little minions to get that. Jarvan, in the meantime, has uh, invaded and is taking blue team's red. Good steal by Jarvan there. Ping's going down on Dragon. We'll see if they just try and get this. No one really on blue team is in position to stop this dragon, so I do believe that this should be a pretty free dragon for red team. They have no vision on it, and one spear from Nidalee takes care of that, and that is another dragon for red team. You do see uh, that red team, Jarvan slides in onto Thresh, knocks him up, and that is a very dead Thresh. Alt comes down onto Kassadin, but uh, Kassadin just riff walks away. I'm not exactly sure about that Jarvan ult. Uh, he should have expected that Kassadin would just riff walk out of that. But you do see the gold lead for the red team is continuously growing. And they are starting to uh, press their advantages. They are trying to uh, take down some, put some hits onto this. Fiddle ult comes down onto Graves. He cleanses, he gets out of there. And he goes back to the bot turret. Meanwhile, Kassadin comes in. Alt goes down onto Jarvan. And Nocturne picks up the kill. Lee Sin slides out of there. And in the, right now we have Spears coming in. Nice shield by Nocturne. And it looks like Red Team is going to take what they can get and leave. But a 0 for 1 killing the Jarvan. And they didn't get the tower either. So, unfortunately, a cleanse saving the Graves and they disengage and continue to pick up the farm in the jungle and push bot tower now. But they decide to stop 
So Kassadin will pick up this giant wave of farm. And Lee Sim will be backing Fiddlesticks, taking care of the top lane minions. Nocturne and Lissandra in the red team's jungle, I believe they stole red. So good steal by Nocturne as well, stealing each other's uh, jungle, it seems. And Lissandra is very deep in uncharted territory here. Fiddlesticks is backing, though. She is trying to come in onto Fiddlesticks. She gets the ult and the freeze. That is burst, and Ignite goes down. And that is a fiddle that is going to get away with a sliver of health. 100 health on the fiddlesticks. So, good burst from Lissandra, but not quite enough. Jarvan comes in onto Lissandra, slides in, Claw comes out, Spear comes down, but unfortunately, she is not slippy enough, and she shatters into little pieces of ice. So, good pickup from the red team to make sure that Lissandra doesn't keep pushing that. Cassidin. Just waiting there, knows that there are multiple people there. Lee Sin decides to not go onto his queue because he wasn't sure what was all there. Spear, blind spear coming out just to see if Blue's up. Traps coming down, and Don't Mash Me is now roaming around seeing what kind of kills he can. Jarvanalt comes down onto Cassadin again with the Jarvanalt on Cassadin, and he riff walks out of that. And once again, a Jarvanalt is down, and nothing came out of it. So I'm not exactly sure why Jarvan keeps ulting Cassidy. He should at least make sure that people are there to help him and that Cassidy's ult is on the cooldown, even though it is a very, very short cooldown. I feel that Jarvan should be using his ult to get on other priority targets. However, it is very hard to try and even ult a Graves because if he saves his dash, he can just dash through. So there are only certain targets on this team that Jarvan could try to ult that wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Even Lissandra, if she saves her claw, can slide right out of that Jarvan ult. We do see here that they're just trying to slowly push in this lane, trying to be pretty safe about it. Nocturne ult comes down onto Twitch, Fear Tether goes off, but he is immediately feared by Fiddlesticks. Lissandra and Graves and the rest of the team trying to come back, but Lee Sin kicks the Nocturne back into the team. Slow comes out. Lissandra slides in with the Claw into the middle of the team, but she gets focused and feared by Fiddlesticks. Hourglass co does come out. She throws down the all on herself. Everyone is slowed. Death Sentence does come down onto Jarvan, who is immediately popped. Nadali in the middle of the whole team. Graves coming up with a double kill through Lee Sin, and now Twitch is in the middle of the whole fight. Lissandra picks up a kill with the Slow. And that is a th one for three from the blue team. So great team fight from the blue team, able to pick up key kills. And now they're going to be able to try and push a mid tower because of that. Thresh in the meantime, on the side there, clearing out some wards. I believe that Nidalee and Fiddle Six will just try and stay alive, put on as much poke as possible. But I don't see them trying to engage a 2v4. So the mid inhibitor goes down. And I think they're going to try and keep pressing their advantages. They're going to try and take the bot tower as well. So the bot inhibitor turret will go down. A nice spear onto Graves from Nidalee, but not enough. And red, blue team disengages and leaves and are also going to try and steal this blue buff that is up for them. So ghosties come down. They, The ghosts don't reach Cassidy or Lissandra, so they don't know. Uh, that they took blue or that they're at blue, but I assume that they uh, can figure that out for themselves that they took that. Because of that, people are backing. Nocturne, only one close to blue team's blue, but they are pinging Baron, and Nocturne knows that something's going down. Fiddle Crow goes out. Jarvan slides in. Nice flash from Nocturne to save uh, himself from uh, being picked up or ganked. So, they start Baron again, and we will see if Blue Team comes into fight. They are still burning it. Jarvan is still tanking Baron. Baron is still doing damage to a lot of people. Twitch gets caught by the Cassadin. Thresh Lantern comes out. Knock up. Thresh all not coming down. Death Sentence go up. Fiddle all on top of the Jarvan all. Graves comes up and just murders Jarvan inside his own alt. Cassidy in the meantime goes into the back line and finishes off Twitch, and then immediately turns his sights on the Lee Sin. So that is another... Three kills for nothing for Blue Team, who continually continue to pick up kills. Nidalee, though, with Don't Match Me, does pick up a kill on to Cassidy. So a one for three. Baron is still up, but 
three down, and blue team are just going to be pushing in to the base, onto the Nexus turrets. He does get feared under the tower with a spear connecting right with his face. So good kill from Fiddlesticks and Nidalee on the Sandra. Thresh and Nocturne both very weak. Graves in the middle. Death Sentence goes out and misses Nidalee by a little bit. And they're pushing on to this last Nexus turret. Both very weak. Fiddlesticks and Nidalee still up. Nidalee jumps in to try and stop them but gets murdered by Graves. The last one that's able to do anything is Fiddlesticks. But the team is spawning. Jarvan slides in and picks up an easy kill on Nocturne. So for now... The Nexus will live, and they will defend this base. Thresh and Graves are backing out. Pretty weak. I, I think that Thresh is going to go clear out some wards, if possible, around Baron. But uh, I believe that for now, that Baron is safe for the blue team, unless red team makes a very aggressive push out for the Baron. They've got to be careful, though, because the last time they tried this, they got pretty uh, stomped at Baron. The only person going down was Cassidy, and they were able to push all the way to the Nexus turrets. So they got to be very careful with this Baron dance that they're trying to do again. And JK, they decide to not go for the Baron, and they're just going to back out and defend this base, which they need to do. And because so, because their base is getting pushed by minions so hard, I do believe that Blue Team will try and push this Baron. So it should be a pretty simple Baron for the blue team. And I expect that after getting this Baron, they will push top top tower and push to finish the game. Kassadin has been roaming around in their jungle trying to distract. Puts on some poke onto Jarvan and just riff walks back into Baron to help out. Nocturne finishes off that. Nocturne all goes down onto Lee Sin who hops over the wall. Lissandra ults herself so she doesn't get burst down by Lee Sin and he is focused by the entire blue team and Thresh picks up the kill. So blue team picks up a kill and Baron. Twitch comes in to try and assassinate. Blade of the Rune King goes onto Thresh. Death Sentence goes, comes off onto Twitch. But Nidalee throws out a spear right on to Thresh's face and gets that kill. Cassidy though finishes off Twitch who is still... Nidalee just hanging around and Fiddle Alt does come in, fears Cassidy, great fear and pick up on to Cassidy. So trade for trade, kill for kill, and in the end, a three kill to two kill in favor for Red Team. So very good kills on Red Team's part, being able to take care of some of those people with Baron. More poke going on from the support Fiddlesticks, getting some gold as well. Graves comes in though, he gets feared immediately from Fiddlesticks. Great fear to save himself, and Graves just... Continues on his way with blue buff and Baron. Decides not to chase the fiddlesticks. Uh, I don't imagine that he will try. He might try. However, the Nexus very low. Just Dominions. Red team not paying attention to their own base. And Nocturne and Graves still hanging around. Just keeping those lanes pushing in. So very dire situation for the red team. Who have to stay in base now. They cannot leave their base. And so blue team has all the control that they want. They have to stay in. They can't allow any more minions to push like that into their base while this Nexus is that low. So blue team will just keep pushing in, make sure that all their minion camps are farmed out. And uh, yeah, I do not see how red team will be able to bring this back unless they completely ace blue team multiple times in a row because those minions just keep up the pressure and bot lane is pushing very hard as well their inhibitor in mid does come back up so if they can protect this it will give them a little breathing room but blue team is stacking in the middle and they're going to try and push this inhib as fast as possible i do see this being the last team fight if blue team wins this team fight they will win the game very very dire situation everyone waiting on the wings they're not wanting to engage just a fear of a bad engage nocturnal is triggered but nothing happening. It goes straight on to Twitch, who is immediately blown to bits by Cassidy and Nocturne. So Twitch being down, that is a lot of damage that is not there for the red team. Nidalee goes down as well. Not sure what they were thinking. Fiddle Alt comes in, but he's ulted by Lissandra, and she hourglasses as well. Fiddle was ulted by Lissandra in a way that she wasn't able to do, or he wasn't able to do a lot of damage with his AoE ult. Thresh coming in the back line. He's very weak. Death Sentence goes down onto Lee Sin who picks up the kill on the very, very weak Thresh. But Nocturne still up almost full health. He and the Super Minions are going to be able to finish off the Nexus, I believe. 
and I believe that this will be the game, which it is. So blue team with Rux and on the top Lissandra are going to pull out the victory. So you saw there that uh, there were two Baron fights in there that really spelt disaster for the red team and the fact that they completely seemed like they ignored their base and just let super minions push in super far and uh, gave blue all kinds of advantages there during the late game and uh, you can see red team was up by about 10,000 gold so blue team did p uh, bring that back in a very strong fashion and uh, that was a great finish with Nocturne ulting onto Twitch and him completely exploding. That took a, all the damage away from the red team, and that is how they pushed on to victory. Now, this once again, guys, this is my first take on commentary uh, and trying to shout cast matches. Uh, I'd like to get more into it and also bring someone on with me and actually cast matches uh, some more. Uh, it does get a little exhausting doing this all by yourself but it is great practice and that is what I need uh, so what I'll do here is I'm probably gonna be making a uh, playlist on my channel my YouTube channel uh, just for these shout casting practices that I do which will probably just be me p uh, spectating one of the um, games that Riot likes to post on the uh, front page of the client which is like I, how I did here I, I'll probably just be picking some and doing some commentary when I can so let me know guys what you think uh, give me some pointers obviously it's my first time so there is going to be some things that I need to do better uh, let me know if I didn't talk enough if I was talking too much uh, once again it is a little overwhelming doing this all by yourself and I do tr was trying uh, to not miss anything but it uh, is a new experience that I wanted to try so uh, Give me some good critique, guys, uh, in the comments. Let me know what you think. And be sure to uh, share and like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these. Uh, I will be trying to do them on a weekly basis, try and get some more practice. Uh, the end game goal is to do uh, as much shout casting as possible. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens and go from there. But in the meantime, uh, let me know what you think, guys. And until next time, have a great day. and. Thanks for watching.